Hi, it's Father Bob. I hope you're well. Have you decided whom you're going to vote for? Despite what you might hear or read on social media to the contrary, the official position of the Catholic Church is that it does not endorse or oppose any particular candidate or political party. Church leaders have no business telling whom you're to vote for. But don't get me wrong, the Church has every right to urge Catholics to vote according to Catholic principles. In fact, it is a moral imperative. Separation of church and state does not forbid religious organizations from addressing matters of grave importance to the welfare of individuals and society. Our country's founders sought only to prohibit the establishment of a particular denomination as the official religion of our nation. Founded on sacred scripture and affirmed by centuries of Catholic church teaching, our moral tradition, which rests firmly on natural law, offers everyone clear principles for how best to achieve justice, peace, and human dignity for all men and women. As we make a judgment in conscience to do good and avoid evil while casting our vote, the preeminent priority among many important considerations is the defense of the innocent unborn child, followed by other serious threats to human life and dignity, including the death penalty, war, poverty, and racism, among others. Understanding that no candidate or party's platform conforms to all key Catholic principles, using the virtue of prudence, one must pray and deliberate over the choices to determine in light of Catholic Church teaching and a formed conscience who is most deserving of our support. It may result that for a grave reason a voter is led to select a candidate who holds an unacceptable position on one or more key moral principles and such a decision must not be with the intent of supporting these immoral positions or for merely partisan or personal interests, but because one's prudential judgment concludes that one candidate seems likely to do less harm and is more likely to pursue other positive priorities. In this case, it would be the duty of that voter to assert our Catholic values and make opposition to those immoral positions clear through conversations, letters, and speakers' forums. So take time to inform yourself about church teachings and about the issues and candidates' positions. Seek input from wise and faithful Catholics you respect and pray to the Holy Spirit for guidance. One helpful reference I recommend is entitled A Guide to Catholic Voting, which is a pamphlet from our Sunday Visitor, available for viewing online. Others include the United States Bishop's Statement, Forming Consciences for Faithful Citizenship, as well as a recent statement from Cardinal Schott regarding the prohibition of partisan political statements by church representatives. I've included links to these resources below. Voting this season may not be easy, but know that it's an important civic duty and a responsibility as a Catholic to promote the common good by bringing the values and teachings of our faith to bear on the issues facing our society. God bless.